Welcome to my channel and I got another 3D modeling video for you guys to enjoy and learn. This project that I'm doing is for a customer that wants me to model a exotic car body over a golf cart frame. And it's a little bit of a goofy project. It's a exotic car body that fits over a golf cart. Hmm. That's, that should be fun. That should be real fun. So, let me show you guys what it looks like. E, e. So, it's pretty much this thing right here. Look at this grown ass man riding a goddamn, a freaking, uh, a thing. Whatever it is. And it's kind of cool, actually. It looks like. You might know what it looks like, but it looks like what it looks like. I mean, it's it's kind of pretty cool. It's kind of pretty cool. But that's what we're doing. I'm going to try to do it as, as quick as I can. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's jump into this thing. build so that we have more control points to manipulate the curve turn off control points I'm gonna add a little bit more 10 let's go with 11 and if you look at the picture where this right right behind the wheel wheel it kind of goes in a little bit deep it's all about capturing the small details you know what I should do first I should have I should have done the top first but that's alright we could delete some of these to make things easier wow So it goes down this way and it goes up that way and this goes we could delete one of these kind of goes like that we gotta make sure that the height of the dash clears which would be um, wow I just got a text message these girls are thirsty out here Let's see what the guy sent us. He said the dash height is the dash height is 34 inches, and the dash would exist somewhere right there. So that's 34 inches, the dash height, and I think that would be accurate. Mm -hmm. We inside the pocket of your rib. Alright. I think that looks pretty good so far. Hopefully. Wow, why does that keep opening? God, let me close this, man. Okay. So now that we got the side profile. We want to change it from the top view. So let's go to the top view. And we can open up another picture to give us a better look at. This is, this is kind of annoying to tell you the truth. All right, so this is kind of a better look, this one as well. Kind of goes in here, comes back out, and goes back in. Goes in, out, and then straight. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. 
we'll do that. We'll try to copy it the best that we can. Turn on control points. And from what I can imagine, we'll be here. For some reason this goes in and then this goes in as well. And that might be a little bit odd. I think it does something like that. This goes in. This can go into. Yeah, that's that's usually what. Let's mirror this. Give us an idea of what it looks like. We're gonna add a little bend on it on the we're gonna we're gonna bend it 
we're going to bend in the wheel well towards the bottom. Draw this line here, this little edge here, and connect it at the bottom. What did I hit for that to happen? I hit something. Oh, ortho, that's the problem. Jesus. There's pretty good. And then from the front, it kind of goes out. We'll go out this way. We're going to rotate it outward. Kind of like that. We'll add a little slight bend to it. Everything's got to have a slight bend. If it doesn't, then it's donkey shit. We're gonna bring that in a little bit. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's determine the line. Let's determine the bottom. Where would the bottom be? This is the wheel. The bottom would be maybe, let's give it about two inches. So that would be the bottom. If we, let's redo that one. Go from the front again. Just make sure that that line doesn't look too funky. And then we'll connect it to the wheel wheel. Perpendicular. Let's see. Connect that as well. This computer shit. We're gonna draw a line right here from this corner to this thing. I think so far so good. We're getting a good shape out of all of this so far. Let's add a bend, some radius to it. That looks good to me. We can add some radius to this one too. That looks good to me. We're gonna mirror it. Let me get rid of this first. I think it's looking good so far, at least for the front end. We can connect these two. And there is a slight, and there is a slight angle. There's two lines from these corners, from these corners here. There's two lines, there's one, two, and it angles towards the front. So we're gonna draw those lines. It's gonna angle towards the front a little bit, just like that. And we have our two lines that angle towards the front. There's also 
this line here underneath. We're gonna go ahead and make that one. All we're gonna do is actually do. Oh, I know how to make that. Let's focus that on that later. That's that's small stuff that we can do later. So now let's go ahead and draw the inner line of this that wraps around the front end and goes back towards the other side. I'm gonna copy this. Go copy, copy, paste. Move it out. We're gonna call that. We'll move that out three inches. That might be a bit much. Two and a half. can end it like somewhere right here and you can draw a line it's gonna go out this way then we can draw a line to the front Actually, I think it slopes down a little bit. Yeah, it does slope down. So from the front, right. uh, rotate it a little bit. Down. I think we could do better. And that looks about right. Curve, um, curve there, and I think that is pretty good. Let's bring this back this way. I think that's good. Do you think so? I think so. That goes here. That trunk is like this weird, weird shape. We gotta make sure that we have enough space for that weird looking trunk thing. Move these back up because that's a little bit too much of a dip. Same thing right there. And if you look at this line, it will connect to this here. Or actually it will connect here so we have to draw a line that comes across does that make sense yeah yeah we do yep 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 we got to this sucks same thing with this kind of has like a thing a thing yeah good one dude a thing that's what it has it has a thing and then we can connect it this way and give us that stupid little that stupid little Lamborghini looking thing we can mirror it actually I'm gonna do a little bit of this first. Oh no, that's not necessary. We can mirror this. We gotta make sure this connects to, this attaches to this line. Oops. Mirror. And then we can connect it. 
and these edges back here isn't the final edge what we're going to do is we're going to uh, let's just say connect it here what we'll do is we'll draw a profile that bends out this way and if you look at the model you can see this radius what we'll do is we'll make that profile and then we'll use this line to trim the edge of that but right now it's kind of looking like a Diablo but it has to be a Mercy Diablo you get my drift? do you get my drift? why can't I put a bend in there? Um, okay, okay then, just keep drawing, don't stop 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 drawing, 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 don't stop drawing. It is with it is if you live it. This car is kind of easy to do because. It's easy to do because it has such basic lines to it. And I think it's something that even if you're starting out, it's not it's something that anyone can actually do, tell you the truth. It's not that difficult. It's just basic straight lines. On a real car real cars have like subtle curves to it and cur subtle bends and little accents here that are hard to capture. But this one doesn't have that because it's a toy car, kind of. And that will do it for part one of the Lamborghini golf cart modeling video. If you made it to the end of this video, congratulations because... You are a special kind of someone to sit down and watch somebody draw in CAD for 25 goddamn minutes. I couldn't do it, but you did. So good on you. Stay tuned for part two. That might be more interesting. That might be more boring. Who knows? But part two is coming. There's going to be a part three and a part four. Uh, that's how long it is. It's going to be about two hours worth of modeling maybe less a little bit less than that but we're going to go through the whole process in real time which is very important for those that are looking to learn and i'm gonna do it i'm not gonna talk much but i'm gonna do it and you guys can watch so look out for the next part and i'll see you guys next time